so now we'll work on a quick jump. In the same the same principles essentially. Uh, all we're going to do is where well, we've put our main loop to say check if the up key is pressed. Uh, key pressed. Then we need a variable to say public already jumping as boolean. This is just to make sure we don't jump, we can't jump twice in a row, uh, and so therefore it won't keep uh, jumping if ready jumping equals false. In other words, we're not ready jumping, then it's going to do this, and then we set already jumping to true. Okay. Then obviously when we hit the floor, when we collide with the floor on our loop to say, uh, when, when we say our up speed is zero, we see already jumping equals false. Okay. So, I want to look for the already jumping bit yet. So I'm saying already jumping equals true and up speed equals Let's say four. Okay. Let's say minus four because I'm gonna I'm adding on to my speed. So there we go. And now we hit the floor, so then we can jump. And you see it's kind of simulating gravity. Uh but I can't press up more than once, so I've got a, a ball that I can make bounce. You could also, when you hit the floor, you could change the uh, up speed to be minus the up speed uh, and minus a little bit. Instead of setting to zero, you could say up speed equals up, minus up speed. In other words, I'm going to start going in the wrong, the opposite direction, which is a, possibly creating a little bounce, I suppose. Uh, but let's take 0 0.3 off of it, just just so it um, just so it bounces a little bit. So hopefully, when this hits the floor, you'll see a little bounce. Okay. Well, let's put brackets around that. Equals minus up speed. If we put those in brackets. Up speed minus three. Okay. So that should make it decelerate when it hits the floor. Okay, one bounce. Two. It's only going a little bit slower down. It's gradually going to stop jumping uh, because the up speed's getting lower every time. Okay, you might want to take a little bit more off of that if you don't want it to bounce quite as high. But as you can see, it's gradually getting closer to the floor and eventually it'll stop.